Hey guys, welcome back to a more Don't Starve Shipwrecked. Now we've relocated to this wonderful island. I have a horrible sinking feeling that we may die to the uh, whale nado or something it's called. As I recently encountered it in some private, like my own personal playthroughs and it just wrecks me and we do not have a touchstone <laughs> anymore thanks to poison so I'm a little bit worried of what the future holds for us so not too positive an outlook sadly but we shall see we do have our seashell suit now we do have an anti-venom just in case and I did have a spear somewhere. Maybe I need to make another spear. Uh, they do recommend having a cutlass, I think it is, this thing, Cutlass Supreme, but we haven't found any swordfish, so it's a little bit tricky. I've only once come across swordfish and it chased me halfway across the ocean. A little tricky thing. Let's make a spear just so that I have one because I'm pretty sure that guy is going to be coming our way soon. It was, it was around day 30, 31, 32. It came for me on two previous saves. So time will tell. But apart from that, we're not doing too bad. We've got hail, which I have learned as well that it now changes into, um, you can change it into ice by refining it so it should be under here uh, probably with this yep ice there we go so you can make that now into ice and that's edible I think you can put three fish morsels with one ice and it gives you like this fish soup thing been experimenting a lot with recipes as well because a lot of them come out like goop now I think it's three fish fish morsels if it's not it's gonna be three proper fish yep three proper fish oh, so annoying so three proper fish because a fish morsel is a point one on the food category whereas an actual fish is one so it will be three fish. Man, I've been looking at different recipes. It's just been driving me insane that so much of it comes out like goop. And I know that you guys have said in the comments before that it's because I put in a lot of filler items. But in this kind of weather, it's really hard to actually find proper fish. And let me tell you from this day onwards, from what I've seen and experienced, it sadly only gets worse. So, I really wish we'd have explored a little bit more beforehand, but alas, you live and learn. This was my, only my second playthrough really of this, so I wasn't really entirely sure what to expect. So it's been a lot of learning and experiencing different things that you can find and come across and all aspects like that so you know I never expect to get through a playthrough first off on the get-go but we've survived so far for 34 days so that's pretty good in my opinion not too shabby if I do say so uh, do we have some wood yes we have some wood probably need a little bit more maybe Coconuts too. Oh, there's some nice twigs there. They're a bit waterlogged, but... Oh, we lost our axe. Oh. Please, don't attack me, bee. There we go. I made that mistake before... I died as a result. I accidentally attacked a... It wasn't a bee, though. It was a monkey, but there were spiders attacking me around the monkeys. And she accidentally hit a monkey and 
you can guess what happened. They started flinging poop at me. And I lost my sanity pretty rapidly. As it's, I think it's like minus 10 sanity for a poop that's thrown at you. And, uh, yeah, sad times. I died due to monkeys. Now I am still worried about this guy turning up. I am going to, we have no space, but I'm going to dig up a grass tuft prematurely. Oh, we've got some, okay. That's not too bad. We have some grass tufts. I also learned during my research that just actually cooking the berries and eating them as like these roasted berries is a lot more beneficial than actually cooking them like in the crock pot. They give you more in return as this. So that's good to know. We could probably actually equip this jacket now I reckon. There's some wonderful rot in there. Do we need anything in our backpack? Probably not. We've got to get away with it. Stand under here for now. Because our sanity is going down. We don't want to be setting anything on fire. Are you eating up? Oh, The seagull ate the wet goop. Lovely. Eat these berries. Just have them. Okay. So. Let's see. I am worried. It's usually announced when that guy appears though, so... Let's just refine all of this into ice before it goes bad. Because that hail looks horrid. Let's get rid of that bit of hail. So we've got some ice. We've got some horrible limpets that are incredibly crunchy. We could probably do with a sandcastle maybe. Do we have that many more seashells? The seashells become a bit uh, difficult to get hold of in the next season. So I kind of recommend holding on to the seashells. Um, because, man, the rain, it just drained my sanity so much. It was ridiculous. It actually was just a joke. How quickly my sanity drained. Let's cook up this quickly. I don't think it's gonna make too much of a difference, sadly, because I think that guy is gonna be making his way over to us soon. It was like an impending doom yesterday when I was playing. It's like an impending doom because he sucked up my backpack. As I placed it down to place on some armour. Um, because he sucked it up I was watching my backpack move all over the map. Many heart attacks were had in anticipation of him attacking me. But good lord. It was a horrible feeling. A horrible feeling. Man, these nights are so long and dreary. Get some more fuel on the fire. Gonna need to help our sanity soon. Some flower picking and some shell picking up maybe. Pick up some seashells. That sounds like a good idea to me. I think our spear is actually in my backpack. Yes, it is. So is all the grass. But if we had one more coconut, we could have made uh, like a, a fruit medley thing. I think it comes out as. It's quite interesting. We are going to need another grass tuft. Oh, it stopped raining. Oh my goodness. Now we can stand here and our sanity doesn't deteriorate so much. Because she loves fire, does Willow. It can't be a good roaring fire. Not according to Willow at least. She loves it so much she set things on fire. 
Uh, let's cook up these seeds. Nom 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 nom. Cool. Is that hounds I can hear? Yes. Oh man. I thought I could hear hounds. Well, I guess we won't be going seashell hunting then, guys. We will, however, be running from hounds. I think there'll be four hounds, I guess. At least we have some armor this time. We're a bit more prepared. We might as well go looking for seashells. They're going to appear regardless. Ooh. Ooh. Ready? Ready? Here they come! Is it just one? There must be more than one. Oof. Yeah, there they are. Oh my goodness. Three. Where's the piggy? Don't think we have a piggy on here. No, we don't have a piggy on here. I thought we had a piggy somewhere. We just have to stagger them a bit. Oh, they're a bit distracted by the seagulls. Come on! Oof. Oh, okay. That's done. Okay, so, uh, health took a little bit of a hit, but not too bad. Thanks to this wonderful armour. That took quite a big hit, actually. Um, is there a... I don't want to store that really, I want to keep that on me. We can put that in there for sure. And the charcoal can stay in here. The monster meat, I don't really want to carry this with me. Again, you can't really use this, you can make a surf and turf with it, but again you need proper fish instead of these fish morsels, sadly. 